Joining eXp Realty could be the absolute best decision of your career or the worst one because So there's a lot of people out there who will tell you why their real estate firm is better than any other firm. They're gonna pitch you on why you need to come join their firm. I'm not a fan of pitching people on things. That's not my sales style, whether it's home sellers, home buyers, or agents looking to change firms. Every firm is set up completely different. There are all types of different nuances that every single real estate firm throughout the world has. And when you're looking to change firms, you need to figure out which ones work best for you. If you're a solo agent, there are firms that will best suit your needs. If you're a brand new agent, there are firms that are gonna be great for getting you going. If you have a team and you produce at a high level, there are firms that will be great for your business. But it's not up to me to pitch you on joining my firm. It's up to you to decide if this firm is right for you. Now, I've been at eXp Realty for a year, and this may be a bit unconventional, but today what I wanna to talk about are the top three reasons why you should not join eXp. Number one, you like the traditional brokerage setup. You like going into the office. You like schmoozing with agents in the office and hanging out by the water cooler. And you're worried that those relationships may go away if you join a firm like eXp. Now, I'll admit, I loved going into the office at my old firm. I loved going to shoot the shit with other agents at the firm. I loved being able to go in and just talk about what was going on in my business and in my life. Until I got super busy, until my business grew, and I realized that at that point, I was wasting time by going into the office. I also realized that going into the office wasn't actually gonna help me sell more homes. Company culture is a huge part of real estate. It's really important to a lot of real estate agents, which is why sometimes a virtual brokerage isn't gonna be the best fit for a lot of real estate agents. People like Dan Beer and Kyle Whistle were so smart when they formed essentially a company culture within eXp. Because of that, even though we're not all in the same city and at the same office, I'm able to collaborate with people from New York, Boston, California every single day. I'm in group chats with guys that I'm talking to every day. Along with that, there are weekly masterminds and there are different topics for weekly masterminds multiple times a day as well. So you can collaborate with agents all over the world in a split second because everyone is on these Zoom calls, everyone is sharing their ideas, everyone is sharing their systems and their processes for their businesses. Since they're not all in the same city, everyone's very excited to help everyone else grow. So if you're wanting to learn how to utilize ChatGBT in your business, there's a mastermind for that. If you wanna learn how to break into luxury real estate, there's a mastermind for that. If you wanna learn how to door knock and some of the techniques behind door knocking and what to say when someone opens the door and you freeze up, there's a mastermind for that. Now, did you notice how not a single one of those is about rev share or recruiting? That's because this company culture within eXp that I'm affiliated with, that I chose to affiliate with, is specifically focused on building sales businesses. Obviously, there is a lot that you can do when it comes to recruiting if you want. We are salespeople who sell homes. So that is why I personally chose to affiliate with people within eXp, a virtual brokerage, who treat it like a traditional brokerage so I can continue to grow my sales business. Number two, you like to leverage the brokerage's brand. You think that the company brand is gonna help you sell more. If you think that, eXp may not be for you because eXp likes to put the agent first and it allows the agents to build their own personal brand versus building up the brokerage's brand. Me personally, I like the idea of being able to build my own brand and not the company brand. Because when you hide behind the brand of a brokerage, all you're doing is building them up and building the company's brand up, not yours. But what if a seller asks, what is eXp Realty? I've never heard of them. Well. Lucky for you, there's a million different objection handlers for something like that. There are so many different ways that you can talk them through understanding that eXp Realty is a almost 90,000 person tech forward international brokerage with thousands of agents locally. So what that means is if you're a seller and I'm going to list your home and let's say you want me to do it as an office exclusive or a pocket listing, I can get it in front of thousands of agents versus a couple hundred or a few agents that are at a local brokerage. So you get way more opportunities to have your house exposed to more buyer's agents. Now back to building up the brokerage brand, maybe you're not creative enough and you're worried that you just aren't able to come up with a, a good brand for your personal business. I would be willing to bet that within the fast forward movement, which is the organization within eXp that I'm affiliated with, 
with over 8,000 agents, I would be willing to bet that there are a couple agents in there that are pretty creative who would be more than willing to help you build out some kind of a creative plan for your personal brand. Number three, you're just too unsure about making the switch. Maybe you're a little uneasy about the decision or it's too daunting of an idea to move firms and so it's just easier to avoid it. And if that's the case, that's very valid concern and eXp may not be for you. For a long time, that was how I felt. I was very committed to the firm that I was at and swore I would never leave. So I never entertained the idea of switching firms and moving to a company like eXp. Eventually, I realized that as I was working my way up to being one of the top agents in my office, as fun as that is getting your ego stroked, look, I've got a big ego, I will admit it. It's great when you're the number one agent in the office month after month, but at a certain point, it gets a little old and how are you gonna grow? So all I could think personally was, how am I gonna continue to grow my business if I'm one of the top agents here? So I wanted to find a place where I could feel like a small fish again. And I wanted to make sure that I was surrounding myself with people who are gonna help me grow. And yes, I know moving firms is a lot and it's a scary thing to think about, but you know it's scarier? Watching your business plateau or decline because you have no room to grow in the firm you're at. If you're even thinking about the idea of potentially one day, maybe switching firms this year or next year or in five years, who knows? Here's the one question you're gonna to wanna to ask anyone that you're speaking to. The question is, what are you going to do to help make this switch when I switch firms as seamless as possible? How will you make sure that my day to day business is not affected? This was huge for me. I wanted to make sure that my 25 active transactions that were under contract at the time would not be affected. I wanted to make sure the sellers I was working with would not be affected. I wanted to make sure the buyers I was working with at the time would not be affected. And most importantly, I had to make sure that my team members and their businesses would not be affected when we switched over. Come to find out, personally, they hired an onboarding specialist. Her job is solely to make sure that everything moves as seamless as possible when you change from one firm to eXp. She is there to help answer any questions. She helps with all of the paperwork with onboarding. Because of her connections within the firm, any question you really would have, they can get answers to quickly. And the biggest thing is it helps make sure that your day-to-day -day business is not impacted. Maybe you have a handful of contracts that are in escrow right now, and you're thinking about making a switch, and it's a little too daunting because of that. There are teams that had literally hundreds of pending deals when they moved over, so it can be done. But the key is, those teams were excited to move over. All of those teams have excitement around moving firms and moving over to eXp. So if you're just way too nervous, then maybe it's not the right firm for you. And that's okay. Look, it's, it's nerve wracking when you move firms. I was very nervous when I moved firms, but I knew it was the right decision to make. And I was very excited about that. So it was nervous energy, but good energy that I had when we moved. So as you can see, this firm is not for everybody. It may not be the best fit for you and that's fine. For me personally, having been here for a year now at eXp Realty, I am pleasantly surprised. And every week I find a new reason to appreciate the fact that I'm here. Now, if you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below and do me a favor and like and subscribe on YouTube. If you wanna chat privately, let's chat. You know where to find me. And remember, if you're thinking about making the switch, don't let your fear or ego or uncertainty get in the way of you potentially making a life-changing decision.